imagine a hobby that has many facets to it. That is adventurous. Worldwide. Right, you got the same creative. And above all, it depends upon the sociable side of human nature for its very existence. Amateur radio is all about people communicating with each other, whatever their background, nationality, creed, colour or sex. This is about people who are fascinated by science and new technology, or those who simply enjoy chatting and making new friends. Radio amateurs have been allocated their own very own frequency bands alongside thousands of other broadcasting stations worldwide. International law maintains order over all radio spectrum users so that radio amateurs have just as much right to their allocations as do the international broadcasting giants. Of course this requires a certain level of responsibility and technical know-how so all radio amateurs must pass an examination before being granted an amateur radio license. All radio amateurs have their own individual call signs. So let's have a look at what your Polytechnics Amateur Radio Society gets up to. Let's follow some intrepid members of HPARS up to Dunsbury Downs in Bedfordshire. This is a famous spot for radio amateurs both for its natural beauty and its height above sea level. We're here. We're here. Dunstable Downs. Right, right, well, up on Dunstable Downs, using the, the setup we've got here today. Um, on the 28th of May 1990, I worked with G7BXA Mobile in North Yorkshire, who was just southeast of the village of Howes, and that's, a, that's in excess of 200 miles on two metres using three watts. Into an aerial light. Adrian, G4ZAZ, yes. runs VHF radio from his car. But here the small beam aerial gives much better results for long distance DX contests and contacts. Zulu Mobile. Golf 4 Zulu Hotel Zulu Mobile. Golf 4 Zulu Hotel Zulu Mobile. CQ, CQ, CQ. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Golf 4 Zulu Hotel Zulu Mobile. Golf 4, Zulu Hotel, Zulu Mobile, G4ZHZ, it's portable on top of Dunstable Downs in Bedfordshire. Beaming CQ door. means a general call to all stations. It is a way of asking for someone to have initiate a contact with you. Well, we haven't got anywhere from uh, this direction, which is north, is that right? That's right. And so it's going west. Okay, we're now right, going with. Boys. Yeah, that'll do. We're okay, so it's west at the moment, and we're going to see who can get out there on the air, beaming west. Yep, that'll be fine. Right, let's see right. if we can get out west. CQ, 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 CQ. To the north, this is Golf 4 Zulu Hotel Zulu Mobile. Golf 4 Zulu Hotel Zulu Mobile. G4ZHZ Mobile is beaming north from Dunstable Downs in Bedfordshire. CQ, 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 CQ. This is Golf 4, Zulu Hotel, Zulu Mobile, G4ZHZ Mobile, beaming north from Dunstable Downs. CQ, CQ, CQ. This is Golf 4, Zulu Hotel, Zulu Mobile. Golf 4, Zulu Hotel, Zulu Mobile, G4ZHZ Mobile, uh, beaming north from Dunstable Downs and standing by. Bear in mind, uh, if it's over, when you see her near the date, uh, I'll, uh, I'll contact you if I don't see you before then, friend. So anyway, send us. 65, 1, 3, whoops. Don't be doing Adrian, please. Golf 4, Zulu Hotel, Zulu Mobile, checking access. This isn't GB3SL, this is another repeater. Where's that one? Any ideas? I'm not sure. Now Adrian accesses a repeater, an unmanned station, which relays mobile stations' signals over a much wider area. Repeater. How is its call sign in Morse code? And its call sign is GB3WH. Brilliant little spot, just down behind the hedges. Okay Adrian, what's the next step then? Right, we've assessed the factors 
very little propagation, so... How about 80 metres? Very quick though, because of the battery drain, I suppose. Let's see if you can work this it. is very sharp tuning. So what you have to do is mark on some little lines on it, and each of these divisions corresponds to 20, uh, about 5 kilohertz intervals. So we put that there. I'll tune, I'll tune this area of length now for 3.70 megahertz. 3.7 megahertz. Change, yeah. exchange the 7.8 wave yeah. between meter band for the G width. And we can operate the 80 meter band. What are you going to do on my laptop? Uh, what about, could, could you go to the back seat? It would be easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, this is 80 meters, everybody. Let's see what it's like on 80 meters, then, shall we? What you've got is the multi mode two meter rig is, is acting as like a second eye receiver. It's acting as a receiver. But this, this box of electronics here converts 3.5 megahertz up to 144.5 megahertz. So it converts shortwave up to VHF. You also transmit on it as well. By transmitting this, you get get the power out to the air. You can have two-way communication on eight. So no luck on VHF, so they try high frequency shortwave radio on the 80 meter band. The interference to the picture was caused by the radio transmitter. And now for some lunch in Whipsnade. Most amateur radio operation takes place in one's own home, a part of the house being set aside as a radio station or shack. Now we visit Adrian's station in Leighton Buzzard. Calibrate the receiver. Now then, let's tune up the transmitter now. Turn the drive down. Okay, what's this, everybody? What's this video camera? Keep the going. Now then, advance the drive slightly. Keep the video camera. Keep the plate current and dip it in the observe thing. Is it working into a dummy load, is it? No, this is going up live over the radio. So we're all set to go now. Just find somebody to talk to. Now uh, tune the transmitter up. And that's the calling channel, is it? That's the uh, 28, 40 megahertz calling channel. India Kilo 4, Mike Golf X-Ray. 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 This is Golf 4, Zulu Hotel Zulu. Calling you Golf 4, Zulu Hotel Zulu. Standing by. Contact play taking place is with a station in Italy. Much cheaper than using a telephone. The 20 meter, that's 40 megahertz band we are using is very good for worldwide communication and foreign language practice. Much of the equipment in this station uses either homemade or bought second hand. Very cheap equipment. Amateur radio need not be an expensive hobby. Thank you very much indeed for the contact. 73 to you, and I hope to work again in the future sometime, David. Thank you very much. India Kilo 4, Mike Golf X Ray, this is Golf 4, Zulu Hotel Zulu in Leighton Buzzard, passing it back to you for a final. We hope we have given you a taste of what Amateur Radio is all about. If you would like to find out more, become a member, or just have a talk to one of our advisors at our desk. Please come along today at the Freshers' Fair.
hopefully I'll see you there. Bye for now.